Sagittarius, this is your July bonus reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, I just had a quick announcement before we get started. Wow, you got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There's some emotional stuff going on here between you and someone, or you're dealing with a water sign. Um, but quickly, I just wanted to say there is someone out there who's impersonating me, okay? They're reaching out to people, and they're asking them for money. I don't have any underscores, or my name on Instagram is not hyphenated. It's just my cards never lie tarot. And so if someone reaches out to you, um, asking you for money or for a reading, it's not me, okay? It's a scammer, so please report them and block them, okay? Because I would never reach out to you and solicit money or a reading, okay? So I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, so um, the two cards that came out of the deck here for you guys is the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with a male, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a female, Okay? Take it how it resonates for you. But there's some emotional stuff going on here. Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? We also have the judgment card. So I feel like some of you have made a decision about someone. So let's see what this decision is that you've made. Oh, wow. The Empress. You may feel like this is your person. Some of you um, guys, it's storming here really bad. Um, so you may hear some thunder and lightning in the background. So with the Empress card coming out of the deck and the Judgment card, I feel like you made a decision that somebody is your person and you may be moving back towards this person or this is how someone feels about you, Sagittarius, okay? Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with also or Scorpio for some of you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius for this bonus love and relationship reading? I feel like someone was trying to stay away from you. Yeah. Someone was not ready to commit. With the Hierophant card being in reverse, I have Taurus energy here for you guys um, with the Empress and the Hierophant reverse. I'm also picking up someone is married. So you may be married to this person, but you guys may have separated. And if so, you're coming back together. We have the moon. So this person may have been keeping some secrets from you or you could have been dealing with the Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What bonus messages do you have for Sagittarius? All right, so this card wanted to flip over. Yeah, I feel like this person was staying away from you with the Hermit card here. They could have been um, just staying to themselves, not talking to you, not calling or texting you. And maybe when you would call and text this person and try to find out like what was going on, they may not have wanted to talk. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like this person is coming back around. They're seeing something different. I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, they're going to be seeing the situation from a different perspective. Yes, yeah, so we have the nine of pentacles. Wow. And we had the ten of pentacles. So does this person see your worth now? Ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles. I feel like they may have even tried to walk away from you. And now that you're single... They're seeing how good you look. This person could be watching you on social media. I don't see the page of swords here yet, but I feel it for some reason. I've had this person is looking at you live life. Um, they may have walked away from you to deal with someone else. Could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. If this person walked away from you, Sagittarius, they're now seeing your worth. Or this could be the other way around. So definitely um, flip and reverse the roles as need be here. But somebody is seeing somebody's worth. And like this person is single now. But they don't want them to be. They want a family with you. With this ten of pentacles. Also for some of you I'm picking up money. So your money may be looking like really really good. This person may be realizing that you do not need them. At all. For nothing. <laughs> okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Oh, we have the Three of Swords. So this person could have had you in a third-party situation. And there's a lot of um, sadness, a lot of pain, and disappointment. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Yeah, we have the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. If so, I feel like this person may have had you in a third-party situation and now they're realizing that they don't want to be without you. Somebody's going to be coming back around. Typical story for this month, but, you know, I have to tell you what the cards say here. We have the Two of Wands. This person could have not... Um, it's like they weren't telling you what they wanted. There was someone else that they were dealing with. They needed to make a decision 
about you and another person with the two of wands could be a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius such as yourself that you're dealing with here we have leo energy here we also have um pisces too as well and virgo ten of cups this person wants a family with you i definitely feel like some of you were married you either were married or you were in some sort of committed situation you were living with this person or they were over your house a lot or you were over theirs this person may have took their belongings and left or maybe they left some things at your house and they left it on purpose because they knew that they were going to come back because they knew that they weren't going to be able i don't know if they knew they weren't going to be able to find anyone to replace you but i feel like they tried or they were already dealing with someone and instead of them walking away from this person they went back to them and now they're realizing that they can't make things work with them i feel like somebody wants to come back with, to you and have the ten of cups with you so what messages do you have for sagittarius Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. You cannot make this up. This person loves you and they are not going to let this connection go. Now, I'm picking up the energy that some of you may not want this person back simply because they played a lot of games. With the Knight of Wands energy, I feel like for some of you, this is a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. They could just have fire in their chart. Or they can just be someone who runs in and out of the connection. One minute they want to be with you, and the next minute they don't, Sagittarius. And I feel like you don't have time for this anymore. And so this person may have let you go, and you may have allowed them to just walk away. Because you knew your worth with that Ten of Pentacles and that Nine of Pentacles. And now I feel like they do. They now are realizing your worth. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Yep, the Emperor. Somebody wants to come back and take control of this situation because they were playing games before. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Spirit, what messages? Oh, okay, yeah, this person was being sneaky. The Seven of Swords just flipped right out of the deck. Okay, they were either hiding their feelings or being sneaky. They could have been dealing with the Queen of Wands, another fire sign such as you. And now I feel like this person is either seeing that you're doing fine without them. This could be you and this Queen of Wands energy as well. Or they could have been dealing with another fire sign. But there was something sneaky here about this situation and this person. Some of you were dealing with an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. The hanged man. This person wasn't moving things along. You wanted a commitment from them. Or it's like this person, if you guys were married to this person, I feel like they started seeing someone behind your back. With the seven of swords and the hangman. But something did not, um, I feel like something got started, but as fast as it got started, it ended for some of you. Not you though. I feel like it's your person. They may have walked away from you to be with someone else. And as fast as it started, it ended. So I feel like this was a lesson for your person, possibly a karmic lesson. This person may be going through an awakening or real just coming to um let's see having some clarity about something but i don't know i feel like somebody is afraid to reach out to you because they're afraid of what you're gonna say yeah we have the justice card here talking about karma and awakening some of you could be also dealing with the libra but i feel like someone is scared to reach out to you what messages do you have for Sagittarius? They may, be, they may be afraid you're going to reject them. Somebody is coming in slow with this Knight of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They don't know what you're going to say to them, so they're afraid to face you because of everything they've done. But I do feel like they're going to talk. They're going to come in. They're going to text you. They're going to say something because they can't hold off. I like this person can't hold back any longer. We have the King of Pentacles here. So I feel like there's an offer coming in from this person. But if you're dealing with an earth sign, they're moving slow for a reason. Um, I feel like this person may be trying to get their shit together. They may be trying to get their finances together so that they have something to offer you. Because for some of you, this person is not on your level. They know it. And this is why they're coming in slow. But they feel like if they don't come towards you, they're going to lose you altogether. Because they were being sneaky and playing games in the past. We're going to pull some message cards for your person and see what's going on, too. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? 
Yep, Knight of Cups. Then I said somebody was coming in with a love offer because they don't want to lose you. They're not stupid. <laughs> like they're they're trying to be patient. And this is your energy coming out here, Sagittarius. So some of you may have tried to been um, tried to be patient with this person. Four of Wands. I definitely see marriage here. This was a marriage for some of you. But this person is coming back around. They're going to want to commit to this situation. They're going to tell you that, you know, things are going to be different. They're ready to work on this with you. I don't know if you're going to accept this person back. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're hanging on to you. And I also feel like this person may be hanging on to their money. You know what I'm also picking up on here? They may be coming back around towards you, Sagittarius, for some of you. This may not resonate with each and every person out there. For the, for those of you that it resonate with, this person may be coming back around to you because they see you doing well um, financially and their money is like very scarce. Okay, so keep that in mind. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? The Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're happy. By you know, the nine of cups is being happy by yourself. You don't need this person, they know it. Look at the look on their face, <laughs> they know, and look at the look on your face. Like, somebody is extremely happy, and the other person is like, they see you being happy, and it bothers them. So, they're coming back in with this knight of cups energy. So, let's get some message cards for you guys, and let's just see what's going on here. What this person is feeling and thinking, it's really, oh, wow, okay. Communication wanted to flip out the deck. Somebody's going to reach out to you. They're either going to text you or call you. Spirit, what messages? Dang. Okay. Give me a second. These cards are flipping all over the place. Family. I'm telling you, you cannot make this up. Some of you are married to this person or they want a family with you or you had a family with them and they walked away from it. They squandered a situation and they thought that they were going to get better, but now they're realizing they can't find no better than you, Sagittarius. It's not going to happen. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Look at that. Look at the energy that is coming out here for you guys. Listen, if you do not want this person back, of course you don't have to take them back, right? But this is what's coming. And you may be like, you know what? I've heard it all before. I'm not trying to deal with this person again. But they're not letting go of you. This is why you don't want to deal with this person because you can't trust them. We have deception, lies, and untruthful. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Change of heart. Turn around. 180 degree turn around. This person is just, they're going to change up their MO, hoping you accept them back. Yeah, see, they were enacted for, they were in action. In, uh, I can't even say it. They were inactive. When it comes to talking to you, they have put a wall up. This person disappeared. Um, some of you could have been dealing with this person online and you haven't heard from them. You know, what I'm also picking up one too. I'm also challenging that somebody that you guys were dealing with online had a family situation that they were dealing with. And it didn't work out or it's not working out. And so this person wants to come back to you. And there's going to be some communication here from this person. So if you're waiting to talk to somebody or to hear from somebody, it's coming, Sagittarius. Yeah, interference. See, there was an interference here for some of you, a third-party situation. And I feel like this person is going to come back and promise you that they want to work this out with you. But I feel like you're tired of dealing with it or you're tired of hearing it. So let's get one more burden yeah they're burdened by something they're not telling you what's going on with them this person may not tell you the issues or problems that they're having but there's some sort of burden that they're experiencing because they've left you so i feel like this person started having like bad luck or something when they walked away from you and they thought that the grass was greener on the other side but they're realizing that it's not yeah they're in their head and it's like they're not saying anything because it's like they're confused about what to do about the situation because something that they want to walk away from, they're feeling like it's hard to do so. They took Okay, so there was a pause or break here with you and someone. It was temporary though. This person is not going for good. But I feel like this is something that they always do and you're tired of it. You're tired of their like in and out energy. 
But somebody may decide to break down and tell you what's going on if you require it. And I feel like most of you will, especially if you want to be back with this person, but you seek change from them. You may, um, you know, tell them like, no, I need to know everything that's going on because there's something going on with, him, with them. Some type of family situation. And they were being silent about it with the silent and mute card. So those are the messages that I have for your bonus reading, Sagittarius. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my Cries Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.